Well, we are now 45 uh, videos into our little project. And that seems like a reasonable time to take a little bit of a pause uh, and think over what we've already covered. Just review it briefly. And uh, also to elaborate on something I've mentioned uh, in the last sutra and paribhasha, namely, stadentra uh, tamaha which is, we've already discussed enough material to begin to meaningfully operate the grammar as we consider the new sutras and so on. And uh, it's, it's really fun to see how much that's the case. And in the next sutra, Uran Rabraha, while it's pretty straightforward if you take just its surface meaning, it's quite intricate. Uh, uh, it, it also contains a lot of intricacies that are interesting and, and meaningful. And uh, the fun thing is that uh, we've already discussed most of those, uh, the sutras that uh, are, are necessary. And in fact, most of the sutras that we've done so far, aside from the Pragurhya Sanya Sutras, uh, will come into play. So I'm just briefly going to go through the Akshara Samanaya and the places of articulation, and then our sutras, and then we'll discuss Uradhinapraha with reference to the particular roles of uh, a number of these sutras, and a few in the future, uh, which we can uh, profit from uh, introducing or reintroducing. <laughs> so I apologize if I make some boo-boos along the way, but I'll do my best. hal. <laughs> Now, uh, uh, the places of articulation. Akuha visarjaniya nam kantaha. Ichu yashanam talu. Rtura shanam murta. Lurtula sanam dantaha. Upushpamaniya nam oshtao. Nyamangana nam nasikacha. E dai toho kantatalu, o dal toho kantoshtam, vakarasya dantoshtam, jikvamuliasya jikvamulam, nasika anuswarasya. Vratiradayich adengunaha eko guna vrati, halonantraha sam yogaha. Mukanasi ka vachano nunasakaha. Tuyasya prayatnam savarnam. Rilla varnayor mita savarnyam vachum. Nachalao idu date vivachinam pragrihim. Adasoma she nipati kajinang od. Sambutau shakalya se tavino she. Unyaha u idu tau chasaptam yate. Naveti vipasha. Adyam tau takitao. Midha chon tiat paraha. Shashti stane yoga. Shashti stane yoga. Stane tritamaha. Yatra neka vidamata yam tatra stana ta antar yam baliaha. Uran raparaha. Uran raparaha. <clears throat> Couple boo-boos, but. Uh, so I advocate you go back over all of those. You have them in your notes and uh, try to just read through them out loud as often as you can so that they, they sink in. So now, Uran Raparaha. Uhu An Raparaha. Uhu is Shashti of R. Shashti of the vowel r. An is a i un. An is a i un. Raparaha means when followed by r. 
followed by R. So now let's look back at the Akshara Samamnaya and some of the finer points that we discussed. If we look at Hayavarat Lan, Lan, we have noted that uh, by convention, commentary, whatever, it has come to be understood that the A uh of Lan is uh, uh, nasally pronounced, Mukanasi Kavachunonunasikaha, namely, it's Anunasika. Um, now, then, in reference to this, or what makes this important, <clears throat> is the sutra which we have mentioned, I think, before. We'll certainly uh, think about it in more detail. Upadeshe Janunasika it, or Upadeshe Ach Anunasika it. An Anunasika vowel, Ach Anunasika, uh, Upadeshe, in an Upadesha. And for our purposes, it's enough to say that sutras are Upadeshas. So, a nasally pronounced vowel, anunasika ach, which occurs upadeshe in an upadesha, gets the name it. And we all know what happens when you get the name it. And uh, we will uh, talk about the, the, of course, there's sutras that tell us um, uh, tasya lopaha, adarshanam lopaha. It disappears. <laughs> so, Here's the thing that matters, and that is a beautiful little fine point. Because the a uh of larn is nasally pronounced, anunasika, it gets the name it. And because it gets the name it, the, um, uh, the ra of hayavarat taken along with la, ul, and the it, Anunasika Ach, creates a Pratyahara. So Ra becomes a Pratyahara, including R and L, R and L. So say that again. If we look at Hayavarat Lan, we see that because the A of Lan is nasally pronounced by Upadeshe Janunasika It, that becomes a final it. And uh, so, Adirantyena uh, Sehita, the first along with the last, uh, includes the ones in the middle. So that creates a pratyahara, the first being the ur of ra, and the final being the nasally pronounced a uh, of la. We now have a pratyahara which combines ur and l, ur and l. Now, the next thing that becomes important is that uh, the Vartika we just reviewed, remember, Tulyasya Prayatnam Savarnam, that which has the same place and effort of articulation, gets the name Savarna. And this is like, oh, 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 sir, can I just, yes, the Rulavarni uh, Ormita Savarnam Vacham. R L don't make the grade for Savarna, but the grammar requires them to be. Now, not everybody who, uh, not every scholar or commentator has always bought into this, but as soon as we see Uranraparaha, we'll see the value of it. <clears throat> so, and how do we know L are not uh, normal uh, Savarnas, because of what we just did. Akuhav Sarjaniyanam Kantaha Rutura Shanam Rutura Shanam Murda Lurtula Sanam Dantaha. So we skip Talu, but um, R and Lur have different places of articulation. So they are not destined to be Savarnas, but we must. Uh, to make the wheels of justice turn, we must consider them as Savarna. So now, uh, so there's another rule that we will come across shortly, which is 
अनुदेतवर्णस्य च प्रचायः अनुदेतवर्णस्य च प्रचायः सो एम दैट इज दैट एम अन्स व्हिच इन दिस केस दिस इज दैट वन केस वेयर अन इज नॉट अ इ उन इट्स अ इ उन लुक ए यंग आई आउट छायवरत लन इट्स अ टू न um and so uh this is the only time the uh un of the n of un is lun so what that means is that uh, uh what it boils down to is um rr rr um in this in the sutra uran rapaha rapaha so remember uh the uhu is shashti rr and now because um rr and lur have savarna hood by anudit savarnasya chapratayaha lur automatically is included so this is now uran rapraha and also ulan luran lapraha lapraha um so now we come back to the actual sutra uhu stane which is rr षष्टी अवर उहुस्ताने अन रपरह भवति सो व्हेन अन कम्स इन प्लेस ऑफ रर अन उहुस्ताने व्हेन अन एंड नाउ दिस इज द फर्स्ट अन अ इ उन व्हेन अ इ उ कम्स इन प्लेस ऑफ रर इट शुड बी फॉलोड बाय द कंसोनेंट रर एंड आल्सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस uh arudit savarnasya cha pratyaha when un comes in place of lur it shall be followed by u so this will explain something that you will i'm almost undoubtedly find puzzling at times in the grammar and maybe even in ordinary grammar which is the times when the vowel lur disappears and then shortly thereafter the consonant r appears um and similarly with lur and l although that happens much less often so um now we're going to touch on a couple of other new sutras just to uh say hello to them so that we can look at a couple of examples of how this all comes together so a kaf purva pareyoh is a sandhi sutra that says that one will come in place of both the preceding and the following and then antadi vachcha that the one that comes in place of the preceding and following will be like the final of the preceding and the beginning of the following and then finally we have another sutra that says ad gunah when ach follows a a single guna comes which will be like the final of the preceding and the beginning of the following so here we go if we take krishna plus rudhi krishna plus rudhi we have an ach namely ur which follows the a of krishna now by this sutra Uh, now so by ad gunaha then both the a uh, and the r are replaced by a single uh a uh, which is the one which is most like uh which is the guna which is most like both a uh, and r so in a sense a uh, is the guna of r however so then you get krishna a uh, t now by our current sutra uranaparaha because um a vowel has come in place of the r uhustane um a r must follow so by uran rabraha we now have krishn a ruti or krishnardi krishnardi also at the case because of all of the um relevani or mita savanya vacham and so on um we also have the parallel tava lurkara tav a karaha then al 
plus ul from Urendra Baraha Tavalkaraha. So that's it. Um, I hope some of this, you know, uh, begins to feel like fun.